Today we're gonna make this dress shirt go from this to this. Now this dress shirt, as you can see, it is really big, it's baggy, the sleeves droop down, the abdomen, there's just a lot of excess fabric. And so what I'm gonna do is show you step-by-step step how to line your sewing machine, how to get your sewing machine set up, what you need to do, how to make, measure the shirt to where it's gonna look right and to get the best results in your finished tailoring. So I always had my clothes tailored by my grandmother and I wanted to figure out how to do it myself because one day I'm gonna to have to do it by myself. And so I didn't wanna just constantly have to go out and spend money and so hopefully this inspires you to buy a sewing machine learn how to tailor so that you can tailor your clothes have the best fit for free at home doing it yourself let's get into it here are the following items that you're going to need to make sewing happen first a sewing machine second some push pins they're in this little jar third you're going to need a seam ripper this is a little bitty thing i don't know if it's in focus but this thing is important because if you make a mistake this is going to allow you to focus this is going to allow you to get your thread that you have sewed in out also in this situation i'm going to call this a reference shirt because you're going to need a shirt that is really good fitting has a good fit maybe has already been tailored this is a really old shirt it's kind of yellowish i don't wear it anymore but this is a great example of how a shirt should fit on a person and i'm going to use this as the reference finally along with your reference shirt you're going to need the shirt that you will be tailoring so the first thing i'm going to do because i already kind of have a little idea of what i'm going to do is I'm gonna explain just basically how this is gonna work. So this is the shirt, it's just laid out on the table. And what I'm doing now is I'm getting the template shirt that, and I'm gonna just set this over here so you could kind of see what I am talking about as far as this shirt. So as you see here, I've laid out the template shirt and just to show you basically what I'm gonna do is the sides, as you can see, the template shirt fits really good. It is a very slim fit. Uh, it has been taken in previously by my grandmother and this shirt that we're gonna take in has all this excess fabric on the sides. Now this excess fabric, it amounts to about a, I'd say probably about an inch and three fourths of fabric that needs to be taken in. At the top, it's about an inch. At the bottom, it is about an inch. So I'm gonna use this as a base for taking in this shirt. Now, I won't be taking this shirt in on the outside. I'm gonna be doing it on the inside of the shirt. So I'm gonna just take the shirt and reverse it inside out. So the shirt is laid out, it's unbuttoned, it's turned inside out, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just throw the other shirt on top of it so that I can get an idea of where it needs to be taken. I'm gonna make sure everything is straight. And the thing is, is you wanna make sure that everything is even because when you're doing this, if it's not even, it's not gonna turn out right. So I think that's a pretty decent uh, even idea of what it's supposed to look like. So the next step is to just take the pins that you have and start pinning it. And I'm gonna pin it from the armpit and I'm gonna pin it from the bottom up. So the pin is gonna be facing upwards. And there's a reason for that, and that is because while this shirt is in the sewing machine, it'll be easier to just pull the pins out from the bottom than if they were from the top of the sewing machine. So I'm just guiding, making a idea of where I'm gonna take this in along with the template. I'm gonna just keep pinning. Now I'm gonna pin the other side. So I just realized something. On this side, I need to pin it on this opposite side. And the reason why is because I don't wanna have all this fabric inside of the sewing machine. So I'm just gonna pull these pins out and I'm going to turn the shirt over. I'm gonna to continue to put the pins in face down in the direction of where I'm gonna take this in. So along there. And then when I get ready to sew, I'm gonna just pin it or take the pins out as I go along down the sewing machine and you always want to curve it out at the bottom and the reason you want to do so is because you want it to be a smooth silhouette and you want it to flare out so that you have space to tuck the shirt in so now it's pinned on both sides and I'm going to make sure that they're even the other side is a little off so just gonna flip the shirt so it's about even on both sides. Now I am going to get under the sewing machine and start sewing. So just for kind of a tour of your sewing machine, up here you're gonna have the bobbin. There is thread that's gonna go down through here. You're gonna bring the thread up around this little hoop. And then once you get down here, this thread 
uh, that's in my hand, you can't see it because it's out of focus. But this thread is gonna go through the needle. Down under here, there is the bobbin. That is also a super important part of this. Also on this dial, you're gonna have all your different settings that you're gonna use. And for this, we're gonna use a straight stitch. Probably number nine uh, is gonna be appropriate. So number nine, uh, to get this going. So I'm currently threading the sewing machine. The hardest part is getting it through the little hole. And oh, first try. Okay, so got it through there. I'm gonna pull this back. Try not to snap it because if you snap it, you're gonna have to redo it. Uh, and then taking the bobbin, which is right here, and I'm just gonna throw this in, down in here and then lining it with the little hook. You gotta have it hooked properly. And just bringing that excess fabric out. And now I am ready to start sewing the shirt from the top of the elbow. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that you could see. So I got it locked down. Uh, there's a little lever up here. This lever, you wanna throw it down on the fabric and then you are ready to start sewing. So just slowly start removing those needles. Keep so. And then once you get to this point, you want to lock the stitch in by hitting the reverse button and then sewing back over it. Pull your excess fabric out, cut it, uh, pull that back. So you're going to have your stitch, which is right there. That is the first part. And now I'm about to uh, get ready to do the second part of this, which is the other side of the shirt. So same rule applies, throw, throw it under the armpit. There's some fabric underneath that armpit. And so you wanna start on the outside, drop the handle, pull the first one out because I kinda got an idea of where I am going to sew. So start sewing, then pull out the next needle. Continue. Turn it kind of outwards towards the bottom because now it's to the point where we gotta flare it out. Then lock it in. So once it's done, you wanna cut out any excess fabric on the shirt. Make sure it looks good. Make sure it's stitched right. Cut out the excess fabric over here. So now what I'm gonna do is turn the shirt back out and we're gonna see how it looks. Guys, I have to say I have outdone myself this time. I think this fit, just look at the sleeve. There's no excess fabric on the sleeve. It fits good and you notice I still have full range of motion. It's not like I can't uh, not bend my arm. I still have the ability to do that because I just took out a little bit, just enough to make it look right. And then also on the sides, the sides look wonderful. It is contorted to my body. It fits very slim. There is not a whole lot of poofiness. There is less bagginess back here. And I think it just really looks good. And it is really a testament of what taking the time out, you know, going to Walmart, buying that $76 sewing machine, getting some thread, getting the needle, all of that kind of stuff, finding a shirt that needs work, learning how to tailor. It all is really worth it in the long run if you really care about your style and you really want to look better. The thing I absolutely hate to see is guys in business meetings wearing big, baggy, bloated shirts and they just make them look so horrible. But you know, you could simply buy a sewing machine. It takes 30 minutes to take in the sides of a shirt, takes a couple of minutes to do the sleeves, and it's gonna be a way better fit than what you're gonna get off the rack. So guys, that is today's video. I hope I inspired you to start tailoring to learn how to tailor. There will be more tailoring videos coming. So this is gonna be a series. I think the next video I'm gonna show you how to just take in a T shirt but tailoring it is worth it if you do it yourself you are going to feel very rewarded once you are done so with that being said i'm robert this is gent style if you like this video hit that like button also go ahead and subscribe we're going to have more content like this coming out and with that being said i will see you guys in the next episode